Welcome back to my new video and in this video I will show you how to convert a brushless motor that is meant for air cooling to a motor that is meant for water cooling. And for that we have to take off the ribs of the motor. And to do that you need to do some preparations before you start. I took the rotor out and I taped off the motor so that all the aluminium chivel that comes off the housing of the motor doesn't go inside the motor. I use two kinds of files to file down the edges or the ribs of the motor, a coarse one and a fine one. And I will start with the coarse one. I clamp down the motor in my workbench, but not too tight, because if it is too tight you can damage the outsides of the motor. And you don't want that. With your file you will use or you will go in a circular motion evenly across all the ribs to make sure that you file them down equally. When you file it down that much that you are going to touch the black paint then you know visually that you have grinded down or filed down all the ribs. But in between sessions you will also touch and feel if it is smooth. With the ribs on the motor there is more contact area between the air that is forced against it and the outside housing of the motor. The difference may not seem much but it is there. And that is how you recognize a motor that is meant for air cooling or a motor that is meant for water cooling. That doesn't mean that when you have a motor with a smooth surface area that you cannot air cool it. It is just less efficient. For example, you have TP power motors. I use it in my Limitless for speed runs. It is smooth. TP power also sells water jackets that you can fit over the motor. Most times it is used for boats, but you can air cool it. You just need a little bit more air to cool it. With, it, with this conversion it is the same. When I switch it from air cooling to water cooling by taking off the ribs, it is most efficient to cool it with water instead of with air. If you want to do this for yourself with your own motor then you need to keep that in mind that when you file it down it will not cool as efficient with air. Also you need to keep in mind that when you do this to your motor you will lose all warranty and that is why I use two old Traxxas 6S motors that have been lying around for a few years now. They don't have warranty anymore and I want to do a nice project with it. I know it has been a long time since I've gave any updates on my custom build. It has also been a long time since I worked on it. For a little bit more than a year I did nothing with it but now I'm picking it up again. These two brushes motors will go into my custom build. I am also planning to take two Vilinion 8S ESCs and make them water cooled. Then you maybe have seen my video about how to rebuild a Traxxas E Revo gearbox and the Traxxas E Revo differentials. Those are also going to be in my custom build. After taking the ribs of the motor, I clean it. I use a little bit of compressed air to make sure that all the aluminium chivel that comes off the motor is cleaned off. I also clean the inside of the motor. Even though I taped off both ends of the motor, I don't want any aluminium chivel on the inside of the motor when it is running. To make sure that the housing for the water cooling slides over the motor easily, I use a little bit of lubricant so that it goes in a little bit easier. I wipe down the excess of lubricant. And then gently press the motor in. Thank you. 
and that is how you make your brushless motor suitable for water cooling. You can also buy motors that are suitable for water cooling so you don't have to make it yourself. But sometimes you have a few motors lying around and you want to do something with it. And then you can do it like this. I want to thank you for watching. If you like my video, leave a like. If you want to see more of my videos and do it yourselves, check out my channel. And then I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.